Hey, BET. BET. What that stand for now? Because I know goddamn well y'all ain't still telling us this lie. This supposed to be black. Entertainment. What it supposed to be? Black in a, in a television. What is it supposed to be? Black entertainment television. That's what BET is. Hey, BET got sold or something. Because I think BET got a white zag now. BET equals EBT. Mm. BET. What the hell y'all got going on? I just want to know. Every TV show now, you know they got the same goddamn MO. Every show that's directed towards the black community, there's a lot of penis talk. There's a lot of penis showing. There's a lot of ass talk. There's a lot of ass showing. And there's a lot of, there's definitely a lot of fucking twerking and, a, a, and some killing and a lot of push towards young kids being homosexual. Why is that BET and all the black television? Now please tell me. I got a question. Y'all not beyond reproach, are you? Can't nobody ask y'all a question why the fuck I got to have my son watching three niggas kissing on the goddamn stage. Y'all don't promote teenage love between boy and girl the way you're promoting all this boy-boy group shit. Do you want the teenagers to meet and find happiness and love and harmony too? I, I don't know what the fuck going on at this point. Lil Nas X, you got to calm this shit down, brother. Nobody gives a fuck that you gay, sir. Well, you don't got to keep kissing and all this shit on stage, sir. You don't got to keep having your clothes halfway off your ass and your body open and being provocative like you are and kissing on the damn devil and, 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 and all these shoe promotion with blood in it, sir. That is not you just being about you being gay. You being a puppet. And everybody that like you, these kids might find that to be okay to do it because they like your dumb ass. You don't see me out here just kissing on a bunch of women and all behind them and acting like I'm just the baddest motherfucking macho man heterosexual. Why the fuck the behavior got to be changed? I told you I watch behavior and I noticed in Miami doing these sex prides and all this shit. They don't give indecent exposure to the homosexual community when they walk around with their penis out. Why is that? So heterosexuals now can wear a heterosexual pride shirt and just walk out with their penis hanging out? We would get arrested. I told y'all, y'all better stop letting these groups make you change the way you think about what you're actually seeing. It's bad behavior. The only thing we should talk about and watch is behavior. Now I know somebody gonna dissect the video and try to get upset. I don't give a fuck. That is horrible behavior. And if you're gonna ask basketball players and tell them they're role models, then you gotta tell these motherfucking entertainers the same thing. Otherwise, they white zaddy is controlling our community. You don't see this much shit in Asian and white in any other community. Why are they pumping this shit to our boys? I know why. You neglect them, you take their fathers away so they feel empty a little bit inside so they have this little boy mindset like fucking Becky with the finger wave and uh, Stack 5 that's been in groups his whole goddamn life and can't stand alone. They have this yearn for being in groups or being next to a man. So when you, when you destroy this boy's childhood and his upbringing, he have no sense of what a manhood is, he'll see that you're giving accolades and, and praise to somebody who's turning gay. And so that's what he'll do for attention. You guys are sick what you're doing. You puppeteer motherfuckers that's pulling the strings, y'all are sick. And y'all some damn bullies. Nobody give a goddamn if you gay or not. It's 2020 fucking one. Ain't nobody turning away no electrician if they gay. You guys are pushing this shit. And I want to know why. Are you above a question? Because it seems like y'all above every guy. When it comes to platforms that are supposed to represent and celebrate Black culture, BET, Black Entertainment Television, 
is often cited as a cornerstone. However, beneath the surface of this widely recognized network lies a reality that calls into question its true alignment with the interests and values of the Black community. Despite its name, BET is not owned by Black people, and its programming frequently fails to uplift and support our culture in meaningful ways. The BET Awards, in particular, have become a contentious subject with concerns about how they perpetuate negative stereotypes rather than celebrating the richness and diversity of Black experiences. It is crucial to understand that BET is not a Black-owned network. Since its acquisition by Viacom, now Paramount Global, in 2001, the network's ownership has been predominantly in the hands of a major conglomerate. This shift in ownership has significant implications for how the network operates and the kind of content it produces. The decision-making power lies with corporate executives who may not fully grasp or prioritize the nuances of Black culture and community interests. As a result, the network's programming often reflects the priorities of its parent company rather than the authentic voice of Black individuals. The programming on BET has been criticized for failing to genuinely represent Black culture. While the network does feature Black artists, actors, and entertainers, the content often leans heavily into stereotypes and sensationalism. Shows and movies that are highlighted may reinforce negative images rather than challenge them or provide a more nuanced portrayal of Black life. This focus on sensational content can perpetuate harmful stereotypes and detract from the rich and varied experiences within our community. The BET Awards, which are intended to celebrate Black excellence in entertainment, have become a point of contention. Instead of serving as a platform for genuine cultural appreciation and positive representation, the awards often spotlight trends that reinforce existing stereotypes. The emphasis on extravagant displays and sometimes controversial performances can overshadow the deeper cultural achievements and contributions that deserve recognition. Rather than fostering a space for meaningful celebration, the awards can contribute to a cycle of reinforcing the very stereotypes that harm our community. The disconnect between BET's content and its role in promoting Black culture is troubling. When a platform that is supposed to celebrate our heritage and achievements instead focuses on sensationalism and stereotypes, it diminishes the potential for positive cultural impact. Our community deserves media that uplifts, educates, and inspires, reflecting the diverse and profound aspects of our identity. The current state of BET and the BET Awards often falls short of this standard leading to a need for a critical reassessment of how we engage with and support media platforms. To truly celebrate and support Black culture, it is essential to seek out and support media that is genuinely aligned with our values and experiences. This means encouraging Black-owned platforms and productions that offer authentic representation and challenge negative stereotypes. It also involves holding existing platforms accountable for the content they produce and ensuring that they reflect the true spirit and diversity of the Black community. The time has come to reevaluate our relationship with BET and similar platforms. We must demand media that respects and represents us in a manner that aligns with our aspirations and cultural integrity. The focus should be on celebrating our achievements and narratives in ways that uplift rather than diminish our collective identity. In recognizing these issues, we can move towards supporting and fostering media that genuinely celebrates and reflects the depth and beauty of Black culture. Our community deserves more than superficial representations and should advocate for media that truly honors our stories and contributions.